this wisdom and knowledge today with Twyla Marie Miller Cochran. I got some wisdom and knowledge for you. You might not like it when I say it, but I'm going to say it anyway. All the people that's working with DNR fishing and DNR hunting and in the industry, working under where your mother and father, grandmother and grandfather worked and, and didn't pull nobody up with you. It's going to be a wish and a wish and a wish you had it done it because so many people don't know what's going on right now because they didn't pay the attention. They didn't pay attention to what's going on because they didn't think it was important when you when your grandfather was out there fishing, trying to catch fish for the family and trying to, trying to go crab fishing and doing different kind of things, trying to go hunt. They didn't pay attention. And so the kids didn't pay attention. It's the kids that's that's the future now. So if they didn't pay attention, what what we gonna do for that future now? Cause they don't want to do it. They 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 too good to go out there and hunt and fish. They might go fishing, but they ain't gonna hunt. Even if they go fishing, is the water safe? Is the fish safe? They saying that's not gonna be. So what you gonna do now? I say you better get you some fish and put it in a in a um in a pond in your backyard and treat your water and make sure you got some fish that are good so that you can have something to eat because if you don't do it yourself the water that you've been going to ain't gonna be no good for you to go to it and you're gonna end up dying like the fish are because it's, it's not gonna take just the fish it's gonna take you and the fish it's going to take everything that eats out of that pond, out of that water, out of that lake, out of that ocean, out of that sea, whatever, wherever you're eating it from. So I say you dig your hole in the backyard big enough to put you some fish down in there and start utilizing it to make your, your own pond, to make sure you got fish for your family to eat. And if you don't start it now, it won't be now later. See, didn't nobody pull you up to show you what to do. And ain't nobody pulling you up now. Well, I'm informing you to pull yourself up so you can do what you got to do. Because in a minute, we're not going to have no fish good. The water ain't going to be no good. I've been praying for the fish and the water for so long. And I know why I was praying for the fish and the water so hard. But now that I see the video, I see why I was praying so hard. Because it's not going to be no good. I pray for the fish. Pray for the water. Pray for the harvest. Pray for the food. I pray for everything. I pray for everything. And I didn't know why I was praying for it. But now I know why. Because the food. When they plant the food. And they put the water. From the, <laughs> from the lake on the food. The food ain't no good. The harvest ain't going to come up right. It's gonna come up to contaminated. The birds and the, and the livestock is gonna be contaminated. I've been praying for that too. It's gonna be contaminated, and the fish and the water is gonna be contaminated because nobody was pulling nobody up into a position to be ready for what's gonna happen. In other words, your grandfather he pulled your father up, but your father didn't pull you up because you didn't listen, because you was hard headed. And you still hard-headed. And you still don't want to know. And you still don't learn. And you still don't listen. You'd rather be out there killing each other. You'd rather be out there rolling in your little marijuana, your little dope, your little crack. And having a little easy dime. Which it ain't going to be none there either. Because that's not going to come up right. Your marijuana going to be dead in, in, the, in the field. You ain't going to get no more crack. Because... Chinese ain't gonna be sending no more over here. They gonna know ain't no money. What they gonna send some over here for? There ain't no money over here. I'm trying to tell you something. You better listen what I'm saying. You better get up off that easy dime and get over there and try to figure out how to make you some water in a hole. Put you the fish down there and start letting them mate and make more fish so you can have fish for your family. Because see, it ain't about your homeboys and your homegirls. It's about your family. Your family. 
So get you a pond in your backyard and make some fish so that you at least can have a piece of fish that's real and righteous. I've been praying for the fish in the water. I've been praying for the harvest and the livestock. I've been praying every day for it. Every day I pray for it, morning and night. And I know in my heart it's a reason why. And so there's the video. The video that came to me today. That's horrible than all videos. Because it's saying that the fish in the water ain't going to be no good. Because the fish is dying. And so when the people catch the fish, they're going to die with the fish. It's time out to quit playing and try to see how you're going to survive the fittest. Because people ain't taking their jobs back. So the jobs are shutting down and the places are shutting down. Money ain't going to be no good because if there ain't no money in the city, you ain't going to have no money. Trust and believe me, ain't going to be no money. You're going to be getting rations. And the rations is going to come from where? From the harvest that ain't no good because you put the nasty water on it. From the fish that ain't no good because you've got it out the nasty lake. So what you going to have? Nothing. Everybody going to start dying. More than they are the pandemic. You think the pandemic was something? Let's check a look at this family that we getting ready to go through. I'm telling you, I've been praying, endless praying, for the harvest, for the livestock, for the fish in the water, endless praying for it. And then I see the video. That let me know right now. Now that my prayer ain't no good. It's just that I ain't got nobody helping me. I'm out here doing it by myself. Nobody else ain't praying for the livestock. Nobody else ain't praying for the fish and the water. Nobody ain't praying for it. So, yeah, I'm by myself. So, I'm waiting on somebody to help me out. So, we can't get something that's going to be good around here. Because it's getting ready to be a mess. And if you don't help me clean up the mess, then the mess is going to stand. And it'll be the survival of the fittest. The fittest meaning... Can you survive off that can that you ain't open yet? Because you cannot survive over the fish and the livestock and the water and the harvest. 